Hello and welcome to Talk FCB and welcome back here to the channel guys for another video and today we're going to be looking very closely at the performance last night of Nelson Semedo who I thought on the night was absolutely outstanding once again on the ball going forward defensively his decision making in the final third I thought everything about his display once again was absolutely excellent so thanks to the Dream Team we are going to be having a look over some Semedo clips starting here with this one which does highlight his good decision making here look he could rush into a pass he could pass it backwards he could pass it wide to Delafeo. Instead, he waits. He waits for the perfect moment. Delafeo makes the run, and there are chances created. And that just highlights Semedo, not only in terms of his pace, in terms of his raw ability, he's got a brain as well. And that's so, so important, particularly at Barcelona, where you do have to think about things. You've got to look at passes. You've got to look at ways in which you can create opportunities for your teammates. And for that, you've got to use your brain. And Semedo does seem to think when he's on the ball. He seems to wait to make his decision. Good tackle here, showing his defensive qualities. And he did this all night long and the reason that I made this video is it's not the first time we're seeing this it's not the first time that we're seeing this fantastic quality from a man who really does look match made for Barcelona he really does look like a player who is perfectly suited to our system he's a right back that enjoys going forward and he looks very very good you see here nicely weighted pass over the top to Gerard Delafeu really good weight on the ball good pass into Delafeu to create yet another chance and I felt all game long he was calm in possession he he kept hold of the ball well. You look at him here once again. He's taken up a good position in the final third. He plays it wide to Delafeu. And of course, then we come to the penalty. And look how far in advance the defender is. He should get to that ball very, very comfortably. But the incredible pace of Nelson Semedo somehow gets him there first. And the defender is so surprised by that, he can't help but foul him. You know, Semedo had absolutely no right to get on the end of that ball. But his pace in behind really forced it. And I did like this. His reaction when he won the penalty. Very happy with himself happy to help the team and I do like seeing that kind of emotion from a player and I do like seeing what I've been seeing from Semedo so far this season and I think everything about his game you look at it here a good first touch strong first touch and then he's not panicking you know he's not smashing the ball away he's not constantly passing it back you see him here right in the middle of the pitch he's not scared to take the ball on and run into space and even take up more central positions at times he's always trying to hold his width again he's looking for the pass he delays it he's not rushing into a decision he's not going to give the ball away if he doesn't absolutely have to and look at it here the, the, the midfielder there corners him Inui, but Semedo gets past him raw pace very good strength you don't stop Semedo here he is defensively that time going backwards and taking the ball from Inui a good good last ditch challenge watches the ball all the way keeps his eye on it and a very good interception there showing both sides of his game because of course you want somebody to be so good going forward but at Barcelona you will need to make defensive contributions as well and Semedo is certainly comfortable in doing that you see him here at times he was linking up with Messi last night he was linking up with Paulinho he seems to develop very good understandings between the players already you know he's already settling in very very well I think he's adapted a lot quicker than a lot of us expected him to getting the ball in these wide areas he links up well with Delafeu as well and a lot of times you do see him take up these positions he's giving them an outlet he's giving them an opportunity and that's a good ball in there nobody gets on the end of it but a very good cross in nonetheless and I just like what we've been seeing so far after the semester, particularly in moments out wide like this particularly in moments where he's got space to drive into that's where I love seeing him because he's got so much pace and so much ability that he can do so much for it. Look at this here. A lot of players might take it in their stride. They might slow down. They might pass the ball on. But Semedo wants to drive into that space all the time. He's looking to get in as much ground as possible. He's looking to make as much of an advance on the defence as he possibly can. And that's what I like about him. He wants to run into that space. He's confident to do it. He gives us a real outlet on that right-hand side. And already so far in his Barcelona career, when he's not there, we really, really missed him. You look at it against Hitafe, we didn't make too many rotations, but the one rotation we did make was Semedo, and boy did we miss him. He looks for the return here from Delafeu, he's always happy to keep his run going, he's not just happy to admire his pass and stand there and be agile, he wants to carry on, he wants to create a move, he wants to get on the end of things, that's really good to see. Again, you see his defensive qualities there, once again, stopping Anui, who didn't have a kick all night, thanks to Semedo, down the right again, showing his pace, showing his power, again playing the right pass, he's very 
clean and tidy with the ball. He very, very rarely gives it away. And that's so, so good to see, particularly for a Barcelona player. Patient play once again, picking the right pass, waiting for his opportunity. You see him again here, making one of those darting runs down the right. This time he's closed off, but still, he retains the ball. And look at this clip here as well from Semedo, a quality that really does show a Barcelona player very calm under pressure at the back. He doesn't smash it away. Instead, he looks for the pass and picks out De La Fe when he could have easily just cleared it, you know, smashed it upfield. But once again, he's looking to play out of the back. He's looking to play those passes and start attacks right from defence. And that is exactly what you want. And fullbacks are so, so important in our system. And Semedo right now, you look at his one-two play, you look at his combination play with all of the other players, and he has given us a real outlet on that right-hand side. He's very offensive. He likes to go forward in the final third. He makes the right decisions. But at the same time as well, he can defend. He's not some guy who's going to go forward and leave us exposed at the back. He's somebody who can be conservative when he needs to be. And certainly in the big games, you know, you think about his performance against Juventus. We saw that in that game. He can certainly contribute defensively as well. And that's so important. And for me right now, watching him, we've watched him game upon game upon game at the start of this season. And every single game, we've been so impressed with his overall display. It's not just been one aspect of his game which has been good. It's been quality right throughout. And he really does look the complete package. And I really don't want to heap pressure on him. I don't want to say, you know, he's the best right back in the world, anything like that right now. But the way that he's playing, you would struggle to get anyone better than this right now. You really, really would. He's comfortable receiving the ball in any area of the pitch. He's got strength. He's got pace. He's got energy. And this guy at the end of the day could be here for the next 10 years or so. He really, really could. And what a fantastic signing it was this summer to bring him in. Admittedly, the board at first wanted to get Beller in. Luckily, Arsene Wenger and Valverde stepped in. Wenger and Arsenal didn't want to sell Beller in. In the end, we ended up getting Semedo. And boy, was it a blessing in disguise. 30 million euros for this man. We are going to possibly have to pay installments for every 50 appearances he makes. But even so, if he performs like this at that kind of level, you'd be more than happy to pay installments, bonuses, because at this level, he really can give us something quite special down that right-hand side. And I really just want to know your guys' thoughts. You know, Let me know your thoughts on Semedo down below. Not just last night, but his performances in general for Barcelona and how he's played so far. Are you surprised that he's settled in this quickly? Because certainly for me, him coming in from Portugal this summer, I wasn't expecting the adapting process to go so quickly. I think coming over from Portugal, you've seen it last season with the likes of Danilo at Real Madrid. It can be difficult at times to adapt straight away. But I think Semedo, credit to him. He wasn't played too much in the Super Cup, was he? Valverde was very reluctant to sort of throw him in. But he played against Betis, and that was when you really felt it. You know, this is a guy that certainly suits Barcelona and really does suit our style of play. And Semedo himself, I know, is very, very happy with the way that he's settled in. He's happy with his performances. He said that he wants to stay here for a long, long time. And I certainly can see that happening because he's 23 years old now. He turns 24 mid-November, so he's not too far off his 24th birthday. But even then, that's still very, very young. For a player of his age in that position, you can carry on until your mid-30s. Absolutely no problem at all. You can see what's happening with Danny Alves. You know, he's at PSG now. He's still going in that role, even in his mid-30s. So Semedo can be with us for a long, long time. I think he can go on and achieve fantastic things at this club. He could be a bargain for his transfer fee. And I'm just so, so glad that we signed him this summer. There was links with Bellerin. He hasn't looked altogether convincing in Arsenal's start of the season, as we all sort of suspected. We had fears about him joining Barcelona. We all wanted Semedo in the summer. We really did want to sign him. He was one of those that we were very, very glad when we brought him in. And I think now we're seeing the evidence of that. Somebody who's come to the club who wasn't overwhelming in terms of his name. You know, he's not a massive name in the world of football, but he's certainly down to earth. He's gone on the pitch. He's played his football. And already the fans of Barcelona and fans worldwide are recognising his ability. Because I think fans across the right, across the world of football now must be understanding this is a very, very good player. And I just don't really see that changing. I don't really see a dip in form coming. I don't really see how it could. He's got all the qualities. He's got all the characteristics. His physique is very, very good. You know, you can't see him suddenly losing pace or losing that athleticism, losing that energy. You just can't see it coming. His defensive game is good. His game going forward is good. And I just honestly cannot see this sort of form evaporating because I don't see any reason as to why that'll happen. He's been so, so good since he joined. And I really do hope that this continues. And I thoroughly believe that it will. So I want to know your guys' thoughts. Like I say, what sort of ceiling does Semedo have at this club? You know, how high can he rank in terms of the club's greatest ever right backs at the end of his Barcelona career? And I know it's very early to be discussing that, but I really do feel like it needs to be done because obviously the comparisons are there between himself and Dani Alves and you can understand why they're very similar players in the way they play and certainly their starts to Barcelona have been very very good indeed for both of them the way 
they came on, the way they contributed in all periods of play. And Semedo certainly looks like going down that route, absolutely no doubt about it. So I just want to know your thoughts. How good can he be? How high is his ceiling here? And do you see this fantastic form continuing as I do? Let me know your thoughts on Semedo down below, guys. I hope you did enjoy this video today that I have brought you. Thanks, as always, for joining me here. I'll be bringing you more updates and more videos, of course, as they come with updates and news and everything else. Of course, we've got a game now on the weekend against Hirona. That's going to be coming up on Saturday afternoon. So the games are coming thick and fast. The most important thing, though, as we know, we are top of the league. Absolutely no doubt about it. See you soon, guys. Vasca, Abarsat.